The NV at Liberty can be used to treat a variety of chronic and acute wounds. The system's innovative design delivers excellent versatility with its simple setup and easy operation. Liberty can be used in all care settings, easing patient transition and avoiding extra instruction time. Patients appreciate its ease of use, quiet operation, and compact size. True NPWT by Medela offers customized wound therapy while enhancing performance, patient comfort, and controlling costs. Components of the Invia Liberty system include the canister tubing and either a 300 milliliter or 800 milliliter canister with solidifier. Rental systems also include a transportation case, power supply, convenient carrying bag, a quick card, and instructions for use booklet. The Liberty system can be used with either Advance Foam or Invia gauze dressing kits. To prepare the Liberty device, first connect the Invia Liberty canister tubing by removing the tubing from its packaging. Align the canister tubing base with the device insertion point and insert using a straight push technique. The tubing will fit snug and should not be forced into place. Next, attach either a 300 milliliter or 800 milliliter canister by first removing the tape from the overflow protection bacteria filter. Slip the pegs located in the bottom of the canister in the accepting slots at the bottom of the device and rock the canister forward until it is locked into position. There will be an audible click letting you know that the canister has been attached correctly. The Invia Liberty device is now ready to be set up for specific patient use. After applying the wound dressing, connect the Invia Liberty canister tubing to the transfer pad or internal wound drain tubing. For dressing applications, be sure to refer to the instruction for use provided with the Invia and advanced dressing kits. The Invia Liberty device has two user modes, patient mode and administrative mode. The patient mode is the default setting when the device is turned on by pressing the on-off button and is indicated by the lock icon on the display being in the locked position. When operating in patient mode, the following information is shown on the display screen. Battery life, days and hours of current patient therapy, patient ID number, a C for constant therapy, or an I for intermittent therapy. The negative pressure setting, standby mode button. In addition, a run indicator located in the upper right of the display screen rotates when negative pressure is being applied. In this mode, the device can be switched on and off, turned into standby mode, and the alarms can be muted. Also in this mode, the canister and tubing can be changed and the pump can be charged. The second mode is the administrative mode, in which a healthcare professional can either set up a new patient or change pump settings such as pressure, therapy mode from constant to intermittent, intermittent mode time settings, language, and time zone. To set up a new patient in administrative mode, press and hold the left soft button while pressing the on-off button. Acknowledge the disclaimer by pressing the soft press OK button to confirm. Indicate if this is a new patient. Yes means that Invia Liberty Pump will issue a new therapy ID number. This number can be noted in the patient's file. The therapy ID number is displayed in the information field. Press OK to enter the main screen. Administrative mode can also be accessed while in use on a patient by pressing and holding the left soft button while pressing the on-off button. You will know that you have successfully entered administrative mode when the lock icon on the display appears in the unlocked position. In the administrative mode, the healthcare professional can also adjust the settings to reflect the physician's order. To change the pressure setting, press the up or down selection button until the prescribed pressure is highlighted. Press OK to confirm. To return to the main screen, press the back button. The default pressure setting is negative 60 millimeters of mercury. Pressure settings range between negative 60 millimeters of mercury to negative 200 millimeters of mercury in increasing or decreasing increments of 10 millimeters of mercury. Note, if the pressure level is not confirmed, 
the pump will switch back to the old default settings and will return automatically to the main display after 5 seconds of no activity. The default mode is set to constant. If intermittent mode is ordered, it can be changed in administrative mode by pressing the lower left soft button. This will change the setting to intermittent. Press the right soft button to confirm. Note that one minute after the last button has been pressed, the Invia Liberty system switches into patient mode automatically and the lock display icon will appear locked. There are a number of additional settings that can be changed in administrative mode including pressure, unit pressure, intermittent therapy mode run time and off time, language, and time zone. To change any of the therapy settings, press both of the soft buttons at the same time. A list screen will appear. Scroll down the menu with a selection up or down buttons until the desired setting you wish to change is reached. Press OK to select. To change value, choose with the selection up or down buttons. Press OK to confirm the change. Note that if the change setting is not confirmed, the pump will switch back to the old settings. Press back to exit settings. Also note that one minute after the last button has been pressed, the Liberty switches into patient mode automatically and the display is locked. To view a patient's therapy log file, press the selection up and down keys simultaneously. The therapy log file includes information regarding run times, on off, pressure settings, therapy modes, and alarms and errors. The last 51 events are logged and displayed. To view additional log file pages, scroll with the up down selection keys. This information is available in graph format by pressing the graph button. To exit the therapy log file, press the back button. Patient therapy log files are downloadable through software available separately by Medela. To download data, Locate the USB on the side of the device next to the electrical outlet port. Please contact your local Medela representative for more information regarding this feature. Once the settings are adjusted, press the right soft button to turn on the device. After performing an initial self-test, the Liberty will begin to build a vacuum in order to apply therapy. A unique feature shown on the display screen is the air leak indicator. When the indicator is empty, the system is airtight. When the indicator is half full, there is an air leak in the system, but the pressure and therapy is maintained in accordance with the set pressure. When the indicator is full and flashes, there is a significant air leak in the system. The air leakage alarm will go off within two minutes if the set pressure is not maintained. Managing air leaks will be discussed later. Change the Invia Liberty canister and tubing at least once a week. Also, change the canister when it is deemed full either by visual inspection or when an alarm sounds in accordance with instructions on the device display screen. To change the canister, first press the standby button and hold for three seconds. The device will stop running. Next, clamp the canister tubing. Press the canister release button located on top of the device and carefully remove the full canister. Remove the cap attached to the canister and seal the hole in the canister. Dispose of the canister in accordance with local procedures. Attach a new canister by first removing the tape from the overflow protection bacteria filter. Next, slip the pegs located in the bottom of the canister in the accepting slots at the bottom of the device and rock the canister forward until locked into place. There will be an audible click letting you know that the canister has been attached correctly. Connect the canister tubing to the dressing tubing. Ensure that the canister tubing is unclamped. Resume therapy by pressing the on soft button. It is recommended that the Liberty remain connected to a power supply during use unless the patient is mobile. The device will continue to provide therapy while connected to a power supply and the capacity of the battery is not negatively affected if it is charged when partially empty. The average battery runtime is 12 hours. However, this runtime is influenced by the size of the wound, the air leakage in the system, and the set pressure. When there is approximately 30 minutes of runtime left, the system will provide a battery low warning. Device operation will continue until an alarm notification indicates battery empty. 
The Liberty will not provide therapy when the battery empty notification appears. It will take approximately four hours to fully recharge an empty battery. To recharge the Liberty system, locate the electrical outlet port cover on the side opposite of the canister. Lift the protective cover and connect the available power supply cable to the device. Next, connect the power charger to the wall. The battery icon on the display will show an animated charging sequence as it charges. The device is fully charged when there are four black bars inside the battery icon. A docking station, available separately, can be used as an option when charging the device. A carrying case is available to promote patient mobility during therapy. Insert the Liberty device in the carrying case as shown and adjust the shoulder strap to the desired length. Patient therapy is easily maintained while the device is in the carrying case. Patients and healthcare providers have access to the display screen and buttons to perform a variety of functions. In addition, canisters and tubing can be replaced without removing the device from the carrying case. The carrying case provides convenient access to the electrical outlet port for recharging the battery. The NVIA system provides useful notifications and helpful hints designed to help improve delivery of negative pressure wound therapy. Notifications are categorized as warnings, alarms, and internal faults. If the Invia Liberty detects any situation where the therapy cannot be maintained, an acoustic alarm sounds, a fault number, and a description of the problem appears on the display. When a warning appears, device operation continues. When an alarm or internal default appears, device operation stops. When a warning or alarm appears on the screen, a description will be shown on the display. To resolve, press the left soft button to mute the alarm. The acoustic alarm is suppressed for one minute if the problem is not resolved. Next, follow the instructions shown on the display to resolve the issue. If the problem cannot be resolved, turn off the device and consult your contact person for further instructions. If an air leak in the system alarm notification appears, check the dressing for air leakage. Press firmly around the edges of the dressing, around the drain tube or transfer pad. Some additional transparent film may be necessary to seal the leak. Check the drain and canister tubing connection to ensure that it is tight. Ensure that the canister tubing is inserted straight into the device. Finally, check the canister to ensure that it is properly seated in the device by releasing and repositioning it. Check that the O-ring gasket on the device is not missing. Replace if necessary. If either a system clogged or filter clogged alarm notification appears, check that the tubing is not twisted, kinked, or clamped. If the canister tubing is clogged, change the tubing. If the canister is full or the filter is clogged, replace canister. If an internal default notification appears, press and hold the on-off button for three seconds. The device will power down. Turn the device back on. If the internal fault alarm remains, turn off the device and contact Medela Customer Service. For a full list of alarms and warnings, consult the Envia Liberty instructions for use booklet or quick reference card. Thank you for choosing True NPWT by Medela.